Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And I got a Dollar Tree haul for you. Oh, and Wellington. Hi, buddy. I have a little hot coffee this morning, this afternoon. Hi, buddy. Somebody came to say hi, Mr. Wellington. Say hi. Say hi to the people. Can you say hi? <laughs> He's not going to say hi. He'll say hi one day. <laughs> and we have Alex meandering over here as well got a pretty big haul for you it's a mishmash of things i haven't seen anything new as far as christmas it a few things but nothing really new as far as christmas goes in my store and i think we're in the middle of a transition again i'm not seeing much of anything really but i do have a bunch of stuff because i needed some stuff so let's get started if you saw the thumbnail you saw this dog bone it's navy blue and white buffalo, which I love. It's, listen, there's crinkly in it and a squeaker. Um, you know, this is going to be for Luna. She's a little, little girl. She'll tear it up. But bigger dog, if they are a chewer, I can't imagine it lasting very long. But if you have a dog that just likes carrying bones around, this is a nice size. They had another prince as well. I know they had the black and white buffalo check, I feel like. And they have like a leopard print. And it's just fleece. But yeah, it's a nice toy. Um, I found this, and I'm using this for Valentine's Day. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It's the word love in wire in gold. I mean, I might not do anything to this, but hang it. It has the hoops to hang it for Valentine's Day. I think that's pretty fun. It says love. So I'm going to put that with my Valentine's Day decor crafty stuff and see where that gets us i grabbed they're calling it a brownie pan i don't don't mind these pans at all i use a lot of cooking spray with keto and it tends to mess up the pan so you know if i have to replace it once every six months i'm okay this is an 11 by 7 i'm making some keto it's called coffee cake thing by christy sullivan um, it's the first time I'm making it, so I won't video it, but if it turns out well, it's a free recipe, so I can link you to the recipe and show you how I make it. However, she has her own cooking channel on YouTube, and she's making it over there, so there's that. But I needed a pan a little bigger than an 8x8. Eight eight. So I grabbed that, and then, then to go with it to store them in my refrigerator, I know I'm trying to move over to glass, but sometimes... You just need plastic. So um, this is a good size to store those in in my refrigerator because it is cheesecake in the center. So it does need to be refrigerated. So there's that for today's little baking adventure. I found a scarf in this gray and black. I really like this. And I'm almost wondering if this wouldn't be something fun for like a table runner or maybe my coffee table behind me. Um, for winter after I'm done decorating you know for the fall or Christmas I like to go a little winter I love the little tassels on the end so we're gonna see I really liked the gray and black um, I grab these every single year they're just little bows these are the sparkly ones. They also have them in velvet. I just haven't seen out this year that are a little smaller. But I do have a DIY that I'm working on this afternoon. And I think I'm going to use these for that. So just some Christmas bows. Nothing. Oh, sorry. Of any dramaticness. I also found some gold and white of the berry garland and i like this white which i may be using in my project today or the gold i'm not sure i have reds and i have fall colors but what i'm doing has a chalkboard back so i think the white might be more appropriate for that um i also grabbed uh this which is an ornament filler now the the reason i got it were these stickers that are poinsettias Plus, I love the size of that glitter. Those would be great in a shaker card or in um, like friend mail. If you want to annoy somebody, fill their Christmas card. I just love the size of these glitters. And I might end up using that in today's little project. I'm not 100% sure yet. I grabbed some gum. I love Big Red. 
it's very spicy and I love it. So I grabbed a pack of that for the car for my car ride coming up, which isn't until Thanksgiving, but I'm a, I'm a planner guys, if you haven't noticed. And so I'm getting ready for my trip in November because I like to spread out the expense. I don't like to go out last minute and spend a hundred dollars when I can pick up things here and there. Right. For today's project also, I got some black acrylic paint. We're gonna see how this does because I've not used the tube paint and I needed some black. I have a backup if that doesn't work, but I thought I would give it a try. Um, I picked up a pair of the men's fashion dress socks, which by the way, these look pretty fabulous. And I am not opposed to wearing men's socks, just for the record. These are not for me to wear. I am gonna make a gnome out of them. But again, if you have a larger foot, um, wider or bigger than a size eight, I would say the men's socks work out well. And for a dress sock, these are nice. They have a good elastic to them. Um, I literally have a drawer full of black socks. When I work at my other job, I have to wear black socks. I have so many pair, but like I said, these are for um, a gnome that I'm planning on making, but I would wear them. I don't have an issue with these socks at all. I think they would be fabulous. We have, like I said, I have to wear black socks with my dress, black pants and black shoes. But that is a crafting item for today. And then I picked up a pack, <laughs> I love this little guy, a little pack of the mini skulls or skeletons. I think these are supposed to be a garland. I'm gonna spray paint them and stick them probably in my tiered tray or on my mantle. His little head is not proper. I wish their arms were jointed too, like their legs, but they're not. Uh, but I have some spray paint and I'm gonna see if I can zhuzh them up a little bit. I think that would be super fun. Um, I saw somebody painted them gold. I'm not gonna do gold. I think I have a different color out in the garage. I'll have to go see what colors I have just to make it Halloween, but not. Sounds fun to me. Next bag. I found oh, a snack. I love these cashews. Um, these are salt and pepper, and they're a nice carry along to go snack. I grabbed a couple bags the other day when I was out shopping, and when I'm traveling, I tend to pick up a few of these to keep in my purse. Keto. You need something that you can eat on the go, right? Right. Hmm. I grabbed two packs of these. I already used one for the freezer. Again, these are freezer containers. I don't have anything glass for my freezer. I made a big old batch of keto chili, and I put two of these frozen in my freezer. And these each hold four cups. So that's pretty awesome. And one package will last me probably a week's worth of lunches and then I have the rest of what I made in my fridge you would have seen that if you watched my vlog yesterday um, but I love making a head something like that that I cook for over a couple hours and I just these have a screw top and therefore like I use them for like soups and stuff again for the freezer um, I finally found the buffalo I think this is really going to be called gingham but um, the Buffalo check esque ribbon um, for little things. So I got the black and white, which I'm on the hunt for the navy and white, not at the Dollar Tree. I've never seen it there. And then the black and red for Christmas time. Um, yeah, and my bed is bedroom is done in this color. I have a garland for my headboard, which I need to figure out if I'm going to continue doing that this year. I've had it up for a couple years and I put it on it. It's actually lighted and I put it up on a timer. I love it. I love it. Um, I grabbed two more of these little plates, tray thingies. This one's full of glitter, so it's going to have to be washed. Well, they're all going to have to be washed for salad. So now I have a set of four, which I think is fabulous. You know, I don't know if you're going to be able to use them for, I mean, I'm using them this year to put a charcuterie tray so there'll be no cutting, a pole, you know, on it or fork just going to be crackers and cheese and meats but um yeah I thought that was super fun and I love the color I think it's so classy 
so classy. I grabbed two of these ice. They're really no cheaper anywhere else. Um, so the Dollar Tree is not a huge deal, but it's a very big convenience. I got orange mango and black raspberry. What I'm on the hunt for are the apple, crisp apple, which I only can find at Kroger. And oh my gosh, they're so good, especially for fall. But I was there, so again, we're gonna try this, guys. Eyebrow stencils. Like, I don't know. Do I need eyebrows? Maybe. I mean, I feel like you should have eyebrows on, right? I don't know what they are. I've seen them there before, and I thought this would be something fun to try. So let's see. It seems like, okay, it's like an acetate paper. And you get, you're not going to be able to see that, but you get four different shapes. And I'm assuming you like lay it on your eye, whatever shape you want, and then you color it in. <laughs> we're going to try this because that just seems fun to me. So we're going to pick an eyebrow and stick it on. And you can reuse them, which is even fabulous. It says, choose a stencil that best fits your eyebrow shape. The stencil should align two points. Oh, it should align at an A and B. So here in the middle, your peak, wherever it goes up and not the end. Be sure as much as your natural eyebrow is inside the cutout, fill in the cutout with your preferred eyebrow filler, liquid or powder. We're going to try that at some point, guys. Because honestly, doesn't that look fun? I feel like it looks fun. Oh, ooh, I'm excited for this bag. I found... Um, this little trinket tray, which I actually need for my little rings and earrings and stuff. And it's a black, it's a little cat. They had them in different animals, but it's just going to sit on my bathroom sink at night and I can drop my earrings and my rings and I don't have to worry that they're going to go down the drain or the cat's going to start batting them around because that happens in my bathroom. I don't know about yours. So it's just a little tiny trink trinket tray, which I think is pretty awesome. You could also put it over your sink in the kitchen if you take your rings off while you're doing dishes or something. But I think it's adorable. And it's just a little tiny trinket tray that I thought was fun. Um... Please, I have to have him. I'm gonna do absolutely nothing with this little guy except for at Christmas sit him on my desk. Okay, maybe I'll cut the little thing off his top of his head that you hang him by. Oops. He is going to sit on my desk because this makes me, mm. he makes me happy. It's just a little elf. I mean, how adorable is he? And he just, just reminds me of like a throwback ornament. I love it. And he's going to sit on my desk. I'm doing nothing to this little dude. I picked this up for travel for my trip that's coming up. It's Unstoppables. It's one laundry load worth of um, scent booster. So where we're staying has laundry. I don't think we're going to do more than one load. If we do a load... But I love having a scent booster, so I'll throw a pod in a baggie and this. And if we decide to do laundry, um, we can, we'll just throw our laundry in together. And I wanted a scent booster to have with me. And for a dollar, it's fine for travel. That is not cost effective. I mean, I wouldn't go in there and buy 10 of those and call it because that wouldn't be cost effective. But for a little travel container that I don't have to mess with, I'm willing. For my project today, I needed some clear push pins. This was a 120 pack, and I only need 50, so that's good, and they're clear. Now, they also come in multicolor. I was hoping they had black, but they don't, so the clear will be fine. But that's for my little project today that I will be videoing today. You won't see it probably until Wednesday, if I had to guess. Um, oop, I hear it. I hear something else I found. In the with the trinket trays, they had letters, and I won't fill this with anything. This will probably sit on. I'll get the sticker off, and it'll sit on a shelf. I'm kind of obsessed with the letter S. It is a for my last name, and I love having them around my house. So this will either sit or it'll lean up against a wall. It could in the fall winter go in my tray behind me, but and it holds things. You could put jewelry and rings and stuff in it. It's a, it is that deep. What you doing there, buddy? I'm not sure what I'm hearing behind me. Where's Alex? 
I don't know, it could be my neighbor. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hearing like water running, which is weird because I'm not running any water. And then the last little home decor that I got for next winter, spring, is this navy and white little candle. And it supposedly smells like citrus violet. I don't smell anything, to be honest with you. Um, but I like the blue and white. It's going to match my winter decor. Um, I'll just put it in the garage with the rest of the stuff for that season. But I liked, um, definitely for this tray behind me, the navy blue and white. We'll go with my house. So that was pretty cool. And at the Dollar Tree, you just kind of kind of think ahead. Like, if you see something, pick it up if you like it. Because it's not, it's probably not going to be there come the time of year you want to use it. Um, I found, and I grabbed two. They're just a giant pine cone on a stick. I mean, that's what it is pine cone on a stick and they had them in all the glitters and then these white tipped ones I liked the white tip um what I want to do is get a tall um basket or tall vessel with a bunch of greens or wood to put in front of my fireplace this Christmas time and into winter and that will be perfect in there because I don't think this says Christmas this definitely says winter to me I don't need a bunch of Christmas stuff um, but I do struggle a little bit when it comes to winter time and I don't struggle but I mean I just you know I'm kind of over the decorating thing so if I can get as much prepared now that would be fabulous and right, I got one bag left um, I picked up for my trip a bamboo biodegradable toothbrush to try I think these are fabulous for my home I have an electric toothbrush so I don't throw away a toothbrush every month I have I just buy heads for it but this is eco-friendly um it's made out of bamboo and then this is charcoal brush tips it's called brush buddies and it was one dollar so we're gonna try it I'm gonna take it on vacation with me and my because I don't I don't really want to travel with my electric toothbrush and chargers and all that so I just grab to throw in my overnight bag and I was low on toothbrushes and speaking of my trip I did grab a couple plastic containers to take so the plan is we'll be there on Thanksgiving and then a couple days after and we're gonna be doing day trips every day to different areas and we're gonna pack lunches due to COVID and we're anticipating that things are gonna boost up now, Sarah pretty much quarantines herself, and I'm pretty quarantined, so I'm not worried about each other, but we're going to eat out as little as possible. Hey, buddy. So we want to pack lunches to take with us while we're out touring and then eat at the, you know, the Airbnb. So I grabbed just a couple containers to take to pack food in because we're taking food with us, and these will be good for a cooler. Look at the gold for Thanksgiving leftovers, guys. That's pretty awesome. Um, so I thought just grabbing a couple of these will be great for she and I to pack our food. Um, especially being keto, I have to pre-prep a lot of stuff. And containers like that are perfect. Like meats and cheese, desserts, things that I want to have with me. And then we'll go to the grocery store there and get the rest of the stuff that I don't have to cook. Um, and I, I'm pretty basic. I can do just meat and cheese, Ooh. Meat and cheese most days, um, which is perfectly fine for me makes me happy um, I also grabbed a Powerade Zero I'm feeling a little dehydrated I sometimes I'm terrible I drink too much coffee and not enough water during the day and I get myself a little dehydrated so I'm gonna have one of those today to kind of rehydrate and remind myself that I need to, to drink some more water um, I did pick up one more of these guys because it's adorable and I know they're going to go pretty fast and I just, I'm kind of obsessed and I'm wondering what would happen if I attached them front to back. I could sit them up in my tear tray at the top and he would be one sided for both. Like if I glued them together, he would have two faces and you would always see the front or I could just stick them in there front to back because my tear tray is you know, I walk around, you can be on both sides of my table. 
but I love him. Plus he's Buckeye colors, if anybody hasn't noticed, scarlet and gray. So I grabbed one more because I saw it. I also got more gum, more big red. I was eating this the other day. And then I finally found one of these and I'm excited to put this out. Um, pumpkin spice season. This I will leave out until Christmas. So this will go through Halloween's giving um, as a decor in my house. I don't know what I'll store in it. Maybe cake cups, maybe coffee, maybe nothing. But I like this a lot. You could build a bouquet in here. It's basically a hard sided gift bag and they come in all different sizes, but I liked this one the best. So it may end up on my mantle. I don't know, but I love it. I love it and that my friends is everything this week that I got at the Dollar Tree um I get a lot of questions and my Q&A will be coming I'm just working on that writing down all those questions but a I do not find all this stuff at one particular store nor do I find it on one particular trip I may stop into my different Dollar Trees on different days um, the one up the street for me, I may pop in twice and pick up one or two things at a time that I see that are new. Um, this morning I drove to a town that's about 20 minutes away and went to that Dollar Tree to see what they had. So this is just a combined trip over the entire week at all different stores. So unfortunately I don't have one, well, I, that's not really true. I do have one specific store that's fantastic that I find most of my stuff at, but I do hit multiple Dollar Trees depending where I'm at on that specific day. If I'm out and about, you know, I may just say, hey, there's a Dollar Tree over here and run in. Or if I know that there's a Dollar Tree in a specific area, I'll budget in some time to just run in real quick and kind of do a fast like I walk the entire store, but once you've been in so many times, my eye is automatically drawn to anything that I see that is new or exciting. Not that I don't miss things because that happens, but so unfortunately it's not all one specific store and it's not one trip. You kind of have to go, you have to go multiple times a week if you're gonna try to catch some of the cooler stuff. Like the Christmas, these ornaments are coming out like right now in my area. So you don't want to wait and go, oh, I'll go, you know, in November because they'll be gone. You really need to kind of go in and just be willing to buy whatever seasonal item that you happen to see. Just throwing that out there. Um, but that is everything that I have today. And I will talk with you all later. Bye. Have a great day.